Alrighty, well, here we are, uh, looking at GRT. Now, this is a request of, now, I don't want to butcher your name, or see, or, or say, uh, in the comments, and then, of course, um, people liking that comment as well. So, here we are looking at GRT. If you have a chart that you want us to analyze, you know what to do. Leave it in the comments down below. You don't have to be a subscriber, but if you do hit the subscribe button, hey, much love to you. Hit the thumbs up button. That helps as well. Let's take a look at it. Now, usually we take a look in the 15, 30 minute or one hour time frame. Because everything is happening so quick right now and a lot of people are panicking, we're going to take a look at the five minute, kind of show you guys a little bit of what I think is up with the chart. Are we dumping or are we going to go back up and you're going to panic sell and regret it for the rest of your life? Because we all know that happens. I sold 400,000 Doge at 003. So, I feel your pain. Now, um, we are going to take a look here. Now, right off the bat, because I want you guys to get inside of my head, this is what I'm seeing. So we have uh, higher low, higher lows, higher lows, higher lows, and then we make a lower low. So does this right here completely do away with our bull trend? Well, I don't think so, but let's take a closer look. Now, in this, we do have one very interesting thing that happened right in here. Now, if you guys are in our live show, which we try to do five days a week for you guys, teaching you charts, answering any questions you guys may have, then I guarantee you, you guys out there are seeing what I'm seeing right here. Now, for those of you that are just now hitting the subscribe button and will just be joining our first live show tomorrow on Monday, this is what I'm looking at. I'm seeing a lower or bearish move in the price action with a bullish move in our index and this has actually been happening all the way since back here right we are making these bullish moves that we can actually chart quite a ways back all the way up even into here now this justifies us right away this justifies us moving back up into the 230 mark right is it going to happen right away maybe not but technically it justifies or validates a move for the bulls, which would mean a continuation of this bullish trend, right? Yes, yes it would. Now, looking at the stochastic, we're not all the way at the top, we still have a little ways to go, but remember, stochastic right here, we're dumping right here, we're climbing. And that's why the stochastic only accounts for five to 10% of our decision making, right? Because it doesn't always tell you exactly what the chart's going to do. It just adds a little bit, a little bit to the probability. And of course, we know as traders, everything runs off of probability, right? Your job is to maximize your potential in that profitability and minimize your risk. That means we're winning 80% of the time. Now, the 20% of the time, we're losing at such a minuscule amount that it doesn't even matter. Okay, so we're going to take a look here at some of the other indicators. Let's go ahead and throw a retracement on. Now, I believe we will find a retracement maybe around 206, but let's take a look. So this is tradingview.com for anyone that's new. If you want a free way, I'm not an affiliate. I don't get anything for it. If you want a free way to practice the charting and technical analysis you learn on this channel, tradingview.com is an amazing resource. They're not sponsoring this or anything. It's just a place that you can practice your technical analysis for free on live current price action right this is what's happening right now you can see the timer counting down three minutes left on this five minute candle so fibonacci retracement we're going to take point a which is the start of the impulse point b which is the end of the impulse right up here around 287 and we're going to drag it out to the length of this i'm sorry yeah 287 and we can see we touched our 38% retracement and we actually just touched and bounced off of, for those of you saying we're now bearish, we bounced off of our 50% retracement and it looks like we have the potential, you know, to possibly do something like that from here. Now that is not a guarantee. Never, ever enter or exit any position with your money based on what you hear or see on social media. I am not a financial advisor, nor am I a professional trader. I'm just that random guy on YouTube that likes charts, math, and money. And if you're the same, hit the subscribe button. 
Okay, we can learn something together. So let me go ahead and remove all the drawings here. Now, if we were going to buy into GRT or if we were holding graph, what would be our price target for this next movement or next leg up? Well, seeing as how we do remain in a bullish trend and we would be bullish unless we break down below the dollar 75, I would still consider this a bullish trend. So as long as the bulls maintain above a dollar 75, Meaning if I'm in right now, my stop loss is probably going to be, um, you know, like a dollar seventy, right? As long as we remain above this, I believe we are still bullish and we still have a lot of upside. One thing you do have to look out for in the entire altcoin market is we are in altcoin season. And if this is your first ride on the roller coaster, altcoin season goes up for a while and then we do come crashing back down now this bull market is different than a lot of other bull markets we've seen the use case for a lot of these altcoins DeFi coming into the market binance really stepping up and everything new that is evolving with this bull market could prove different we could see either a drastically reduced dump at the end of this altcoin season or we could see very little to potentially no dump and just a bull market in general continue throughout the year especially with the inflation or hyperinflation that is going to be coming to the dollar and all of the issues we see with the federal reserve currently everything and all the turmoil happening in our markets could lead to a larger bull run for crypto right that is something that is inevitable and many people have been saying um, we still have a three thousand to thirty five hundred dollar price target for ethereum for the middle of the year so i do believe we are still in a bull market now our rules are we never fomo chase the way up we never panic sell the way down we always make sure we can step back get unemotional and take a look at what's happening so enough talking if we were going to set a price target we are going to grab the fibonacci extension we're going to grab point a point b and of course we need point c which is where we retrace to and then we can take a look up here to our price target now my price target for this next move up would be right around um, 307 with my trailing uh, target number two being at 339 now this isn't a guarantee that we are going to hit these these are just what the technicals are saying and technicals have a limited percentage of probability right this is not a hundred percent guarantee this is simply what the technicals are saying at this moment in time so we could see ourselves kind of fizzle a little bit and then come up touch it before we see another retracement we could see it kind of come up and touch this line before we see another retracement and move higher and move higher that is just a possibility and what it looks like may happen after years and years of charting okay so again never enter or exit any positions based on what you see or hear on social media one thing you should do the one thing you always should do is hit the thumbs up and like the video hit the subscribe button and turn on bell notifications as at this point we're dropping multiple free charting videos <clears throat> every single day see you guys on the next one